So, we've met everybody now. It's a serious bit starts tomorrow. It's good. I must admit, it's not what I had in mind for you. I mean, I'm not likely to bring up the subject of my son's profession at a dinner party, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> the days of snobbery are over, Dad. There's only two types of classes now. Those in the fertiliser and those about to be in it. <laughs> I see. You managed to avoid the about to be in it stage and went straight for the in it category. <laughs> it's fate, Dad. It's just fate. There you go. Hey, there's no meat in that, is there? No. OK. Stand by. Now, you better spoon it out, I think. Oh. <laughs> that way we'll have a gentle unfolding rather than the avalanche. <laughs> Globules. <laughs> Spare us the post-mortem. Just eat it, will you? Oh, do you notice some of those fantastic smells coming from those houses? Oh, yeah. Sort of curry and sauces and herbs all acting like you could eat them. I don't think we should discuss your mother's cooking while she's out. It's like speaking ill of the dead. <laughs> what about number 28? Number 28, oh, boy. 42? 42. Well, yeah. I could get into 57. With a bit of persuasion. 57? No, she's a bit fat. My favourite's got to be number 19. She wasn't in. Yeah, I know. She's kind of mysterious, don't you think? <laughs> I presume this is all joke talk, is it? I mean, you are aware of the potential danger in flirting with other men's wives. Yeah, we're aware of it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just joke talk, eh? Mm. I know you think you know it all, but just remember that behind every one of those women there is a six-foot husband, and I don't want them knocking on the door and dropping your remains in the hall. <laughs> got you, Dad. They're bored, you see, because they've only got to push a few buttons and all the housework is done, right? So they've got all this surplus energy that isn't 